Okay, this one's for Dr. Stifler and some of my other friends at the uh, Energetic Forum that are working on this uh, Exciter project. Uh, Dr. Stifler uh, asked me to do something, and I'm glad he did because uh, I wouldn't have known how to do it. Um, he said, take the AV plug that you're putting in the water and separate it and put it in the water and watch the electrolysis happen. And down in there, which you probably can't see very well, I've got bubbles coming up off of the positive electrode and a milky substance coming off of the negative electrode, smaller bubbles. And I believe what you've got is hydrogen on the left side and oxygen on the other side. And that's just stuck in that glass of water there, you know, electrolyzing. Now, you notice there's no tower here. I'm using this water glass as the tower for the exciter. And it's not attached to anything, but there's just a piece of aluminum down there on a clip lead. I just set this glass of water on it, and uh, it's making everything work. Uh, the bright LEDs are going, plus I've got electrolysis going on in there, which indicates current. And that's why that's an important experiment. But over here is another, um, another one that's interesting. The uh, thing that's... Uh, pirate asked me was, will this light up a neon in the water? And over here, you can see it does it quite nicely. But on the external water glass over here, even though I can light up um, LEDs pretty easily in the water, and even an LED panel in the water, that's 48 LEDs by the way, I couldn't get the neon, the little neon here, to light up. And I was rather disappointed in that. But then I tried the neon on an AV plug, which is what that is right there, and sure enough, there goes the neon. So it's there if you can capture it. It's right there in the water. And uh, I'm running this right off of this uh, cell phone charger that's just a 1AA battery. And uh, this thing works like a champ. I'm, I'm really um, impressed and uh, kind of uh, in awe about what's going on out of that one AA battery and the amount of light that we're getting out of this thing. It's a lot. There's a lot, a lot of light going on here. Now, depending on how I have this rigged up, I can make different lights come on at different times. Let's show those lights are on there, then I can turn them off. Depends on what I want to do and what I want to light up the most. And uh, these things here are just going off in the water right here. And uh, those are the LEDs that are connected in the water. And then over here, I've got a water glass way over here at the corner of the table. And this shows the uh, wireless transmission of the energy way over here. You see those LEDs coming on way over here on the corner of the table. So there's a lot going on here, folks. This is a very interesting um, study that we are doing right now. And I uh, appreciate everybody's input into this. Thanks for watching.